So Trump, big tough talk this morning. You heard? Ooh, he's gonna he's gonna press his uh, his cabinet, the DOJ and the FBI to investigate whether his campaign in 2016 was under surveillance by the FBI, if there was a spy in there. Right? I think we already know the answer to that. Wasn't wasn't it clear that McCabe and Comey and those guys were running around? Rigging the election for the Democrats, spying on Trump, the Pipe Piper strategy, campaign, uh, Clinton campaign funneling $700,000 to Andrew McCabe, the guy who ultimately uh, led the investigation into her email corruption. What happened to lock her up? You remember that? Oh, we're going to lock her up. Poor Trump. It's a, it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. Right? I mean, look, he's he's doing a job. He's doing his job of exposing the corrupt media. But the, but nothing will come out of this. It's all tough talk. Why? Because I did a clip yesterday. It's, there's no separation of powers anymore. Right? The, the politicians, they're all taking money. There's no more constitution. They're all taking money from the oligarchy. Right? The oligarchy provides the... the the senators and Congress with money. They then pay off the executive branch, which is the FBI and the CIA, and then the judges get paid. The money is going up and down, sideways, right? There's no more separation of power. The power is the money, right? So why does why does Trump have to get tough to get his Department of Justice, his State Department, to do their job? Why does he have to go to the people and flex his muscles? That's his job. If Sessions isn't doing his job as, as uh, you know, head of the Department of Justice, get rid of him. If he's if he's not doing his job as a state, you know, get rid of him. FBI guy, get rid of him. Don't do their do their job. So it's just more tough talk. The other thing is, um, Cynthia Nixon is running a hell of a campaign in New York for governor, but again, she still won't win because. Because the Democrats are going to cheat her. Now, the Working working Families Party has made a move to endorse Cynthia Nixon. And that, that should be interesting to follow. If she loses, which she will lose, November, uh, uh, January, uh, June 26th, when the election occurs in New York, the primary, Democratic primary, Cynthia Nixon will lose to Cuomo. And if she then goes on to... Um, compete in November against Cuomo on the Working Families Party, it could be interesting. I think in the end, in the final analysis, if she doesn't challenge in court, if she doesn't have enough legal might behind her to challenge the vote, maybe even do a hand count, she's not going to win. So I hate to break that to you guys with, uh, you know, Justice Democrats and the Bernie Crats and, you know, our revolution here in New York. Yeah, she's a she's a good candidate, but it's just it's the system is broken. I'm, it's election fraud, election fraud. If you don't address the fraud and the corruption, you're not going to get anywhere. My name is Marcus Conti. Peace out.